I found a problem with every single prison. Every wasp prison. You see, anytime someone tries to imprison a wasp, they need to buy and use a variety of tools, contraptions, chemicals, safety precautions, and so on. Plus, most of these security measures are redundant and could be shaved off. And even then, the wasps in these prisons could escape in a variety of ways. But today, I've designed a prison cheaper than any other, the bare minimum necessary for optimal security. And even with all that, it patches every single escape, except for one. Don't believe me? Look at this. It's a single plastic cup. Okay, hear me out. Look, I'm sure a wasp could easily knock over a tiny cup, especially if it had friends to help, but not if someone's there to hold the cup down. So I found a random guy on the street named Jeremy and paid him $5 to get up close to a wasp and trap it in place indefinitely. Only one problem, the wasp we want to imprison is going to be right by the hive, where all the other wasps are. Tens of thousands of them. The place where all the wasps spawn, if you will. What is fine, don't worry, look, I'm sure Jeremy's presence five feet away from the nest won't agitate them at all. Now, after Jeremy takes one of the wasps as prisoner, that wasp will never, ever be able to escape. And if any of the other wasps get within a certain range of Jeremy, he'll just imprison all of those wasps too. Which again, I'm sure they'll be completely fine with. They could still visit the imprisoned wasp if they want. I mean, they can still technically see him from all the way back at the hive, and that counts as visiting. But anyway, with all that said, I have literally prevented every single escape method the wasp could possibly try after only 30 minutes of effort. Except for one. You see, there's one tiny little escape method that no matter what I try, I'll just never be able to prevent. See, technically, theoretically, if the wasps wanted to, they could just uh, kill Jeremy. Very easily, in fact. Now, I understand that I could just give Jeremy some kind of protection from the hive, but after some contemplation, I realized that whatever I give him just won't quite be enough. So just to save on budget and cut costs where I could, I decided to just completely ignore the problem and not give him any form of defense at all. I'm sure he won't even need it, and besides, the whole plan behind using Jeremy is to stop every escape method ever, except for the one I can't patch. So if the wasps just aren't creative enough to come up with a more unique or original escape plan that doesn't involve killing Jeremy, then that just proves that my prison idea works. Jeremy's plastic cup will be a complete success. Well, come to think of it, the wasps will probably just kill Jeremy anyway, won't they? In fact, yeah, they're definitely gonna kill him, like 100%. If you simulated this prison a thousand times, they would kill him every single time. Probably even in less than the time it took to hire him in the first place. Oh my gosh. I'm just now realizing, they don't care about the cup. They don't care about the prisoner. They're not trying to plan a prison escape. They just want Jeremy to die. They just want him gone. Well, you know what? Forget all of that. I still stand by the fact that this is by far the most secure prison ever made. Cause look, every other prison has more than one potential escape plan. And my prison has only one potential escape plan, which is less potential escape plans than any other prison. And therefore, more secure than any other prison. And that is the only metric I need to prove my point. My logic is flawless.